Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Tasty Trade Release Notes. Today we're going to be talking about iOS version 3.13.0. This is a relatively moderate release introducing a couple of great new features to our iPhone and iPad applications. To start, we're going to dive into the iPhone updates where we've gone ahead and introduced bracket orders for open option spreads. Then we'll touch the navigation bar where we can see a brand new settings button. And then also we'll dive into the table mode in landscape orientation. We have a brand new view there as well. And then to wrap things up, we'll hop on our iPad and check out the brand new picture in picture feature for the Tasty Live live stream on there. Great. Now let's go ahead and go back and get into our bracket order. So if we want to place a bracket order on the mobile app right now, you can only do it on an existing open position. We'll be adding an OTOCO or opening bracket orders very, very soon. But for now, you can go to your positions tab and find your spread. In this case, we have two call spreads. So I can tap on my call spread or both legs of the spread. And once you have tapped one leg or multiple legs, you can look at the bottom of your screen and you'll see a bracket button in the bottom right. When you tap on that, you'll be taken to the bracket order screen. We're in gray here, we'll see our opening order where we actually open the spread. We'll then scroll to the right and we will see our close at profit point or our close at profit order. And then scroll one more time and in red, you're gonna see the stop loss order for our bracket. So you can set these either on a price or percentage basis and then send it off and they'll keep working until filled, canceled, or one cancels the other. Once you're ready to ship off this order, you can tap on review and send and send it off. Or if you'd like to get rid of this bracket order off your screen, look in the top right of the window there and there's a little X icon. You tap on that and that will close it out of your window. Now that we've gone over brackets, let's check out our navigation bar. So if we go to our bottom navigation bar here, we just added a, a new customized navigation bar in our last release, 3.12.0. But if we tap on more in the bottom right, you'll see a new button there. We just added in settings. So you can tap on settings there and quickly be taken to the iPhone apps settings section. So just kind of a little bit of a easy use improvement there in terms of getting to the settings a bit quicker. If you want, uh, you can also customize your tabs here and add it to the main tab if you would like. That's our new settings button on the bottom. And then let's check out our landscape mode. So now we're in our trade table mode, tapping on trade at the bottom of the screen, and then also making sure that we're in table mode. You can tell by this icon in the top right, right here. If it looks like a little like curve, that means you're in curve mode. If it looks like three lines or three tables, you're in table mode. But once you're in here and move your screen over, or at least uh, flip it to the side, if your screen doesn't flip, it might be locked, but uh, once you have flipped it, you'll be able to have a chart open as you're placing an options trade. So very, very useful little landscape orientation here, especially, you know, don't have a lot of real estate on the phone here to be able to, you know, see a bunch of stuff at the same time. And this is a good uh, implementation of, you know, being able to chart and also place your options order and edit it all at the same time. So really great stuff there. Now let's go ahead and get into the iPad application. So our main change here is gonna be under the Tasty Live tab. So once you have your app open, if you navigate to the bottom right, you'll see the Tasty Live button. Tap on that and that will pull up the Tasty Live live stream. You might see an agreement, so you'll have to click through on that before you see it. And then once you're in the live stream, you can tap on the screen and it's not pausing, but it's just pulling up the settings there. If you tap on the screen, you see in the top left here, draw that there in the top left here you can actually tap on that button right there or the picture in picture button and now you're actually able to watch the live stream while you're navigating through the platform if you tap your finger and drag around you're able to move the live stream around so in this case maybe we want to go to our research tab or maybe our trade tab and place some trades on rtx or any other symbol while we're also looking at the tasty live stream so just a nice little functionality if you're if you're a viewer and like to navigate the platform while you're doing that on the same time don't have a second device to stream on uh, otherwise 
that is all of our changes for this release. Please reach out if you have any other questions or concerns. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up down the line. So keep your eye out for our next video. Have a good one, everyone.